Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tisha. In today's video, I'm very excited to do, I know I say that a lot, but this is our weekly post burn reviews. And you guys know, this is one of my favorite videos to film for you. And it's one of your favorite to watch. So we're gonna jump right in. This is actually a kind of a short week. We are a little busy. I did burn through five three weeks, which I know some of you guys just cannot believe, but I'll show you the proof here in just a second. Um, and they were all from Bath and Body this week, which wasn't on purpose. I just pulled from my collection as I see what I kind of want to burn together. Because again, I have a lot of open concept space, so they have to kind of, they're going to meet at some point. So again, um, I don't burn them all at the same time, but I'll say I burn at least two at a time, sometimes three, depending on if I'm in like another room um, or if I just have like a kitchen candle going after um, cooking, then I will just do that one for a little bit in there and then, you know, kind of move on. So these are over the course of a week, like I said, so they have to play together, but I don't burn them all together. So here we go. I did have one sad situation this week and I'll just share that right off the bat. I burned a raspberry mimosa and you guys know this is one of my favorite scents and this is one of my favorite candle jar styles. I have burned through a couple over the summer. I really enjoyed the packaging. This is a nice luminary. It looks like stained glass as it's burning. However, and it's funny because I should have already shared with you the candle tips and tricks video. I was looking for a candle to perform the way this one was. Um, and it would, wasn't doing it then. It was burning beautifully. And then just last night, this is Labor Day. And I usually film my videos before the weekend because I work all week. Um, just last night and today, I could not get these to light again, the wicks. And so there's still about this much wax in here. So I'm going to try a couple of things with this and I'll report back. I'm not going to just toss this, but for candle post burn review purposes, it is done in my collection. So I'm definitely going to stick it on the warmer and I might even try to make my own little wax melt. So, um, I'll let you know how that goes. Like I said, I have, um, been kind of watching videos and things and it would be kind of interesting and fun to do with some of these candles that don't perform well, but are way too far gone to return. Like I would never return a candle down here, but that's still quite a bit of wax. I swear you guys, it's right here. You can kind of see almost through. Yeah. So again, not gone, but it's done burning. So other than that, the scent notes are sweet raspberry, rosé sorbet, and a splash of champagne. I love this as a fruity, bubbly, just fruity. Like I said, that's the theme of this week. I've been kind of burning my last of the summer, um, you know, one last hurrah type of week. And so everything was summer themed, related, whatever. Some of my favorites, I saved the best for last. Don't you guys do that too? And I love this candle, but however, I just got one that didn't finish up performing. So would I repurchase? Absolutely. Have I repurchased? Yes. Um, this one just didn't work out all the way through, but I'm going to find a purpose for her. So not calling it a dud, but that's why if you can see there is like a, almost half a candle left, but it's no longer going to light. So we're done with that. And it makes me sad, but I will repurpose it in some form or fashion. So there's candle number one. As I said, most of these are going to be in the same vein because I did it on purpose. Um, I'm switching right now into those not so fall fall candles. So that's what I'm currently burning and loving. But last week I burnt through a raspberry tangerine. Um, this is notes of wild raspberry, fresh tangerine, lemon zest with essential oils. And I just really love this one for about the same reasons I love raspberry mimosa. These were in a very close proximity to each other and they smelled really good together. Raspberry tangerine is a little bit more tart. Um, this one has a little bit more of that bubbly champagne where this one just has the the zest of a lime and the tangerine so it was really like this was a little bit sweeter i guess but this one was very fruity so i really enjoyed it it burnt very clean um did a really good job actually and burnt throughout the week i was really happy with it so would i repurchase yes do i recommend these if you're a fruity candle lover this is the list for you. Take notes. These are all some of my absolute favorites. So yes, I do recommend these scents. I'll be looking forward to them for next summer as we move into fall. Okay, so the next three, all favorites. I, I really do love these candles. I burnt through a coastal watermelon. Um, I really did enjoy, this was probably one of, so this one in Juicy Pink Grapefruit ended up being my favorites from the collection. Of course, I love Summer Boardwalk. I've always loved Summer Boardwalk, but I'd buy that in a plain jar with no no label. I really would because I love that candle. This was new to me this year. I don't think I've ever tried anything like coastal watermelon. Um, so it's juicy watermelon, pinch of sea salt, and ocean wave. This is very different from watermelon lemonade and pink watermelon. Pink watermelon was a, was a watermelon candy. Watermelon lemonade has a very equal parts um, 
like what lemonade and, and watermelon. So it's got the sweet and sour. It's got the sweet and tart. It's very good. This one has that really authentic watermelon scent to me. I almost feel like I can smell watermelon rinds in this candle. However, as watermelon candles go, I would probably say pink watermelon is the best performing watermelon candle. This is second. And then watermelon lemonades all are third to me. Those can be hit or miss. Those can be light. This was a very strong, I would say this is high thrower. I mean, I could smell this all over the place. And I really enjoy it. And like I said, I just love that salty vibe. I feel like I'm eating the watermelon outside and you know, the ocean wave just kind of gives it that outdoor kind of kick as well. But this was a very authentic, really enjoyed it. Um, I, I think they're still having that Labor Day sale. If you can get your hands on this one, this was really good. If I had the room, I would back up close to watermelon because I really, really, really enjoyed it. So that is a definite repurchase if I see it again and I highly recommend. These are two of my summer staples, so it's so hard to pick a favorite this week, but I burnt through an Isla Margarita and you have to have Isla Margarita in your life. You just do. It's so good. It's such a delicious candle. The notes are sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. This is, an, this is a margarita, honestly. This is a margarita. And this is what I order when I go out to, with my friends and we have a drink and we're having dinner. Um, I love this candle. I get this candle every summer. It's a definite repurchase. This was a great performer. Um, it's not a powerhouse, but I definitely feel like it's a medium high throw. I can always smell it. I can always identify what it is when it's burning. Um, so I love, I love Margarita. So that is all I really have to say about that. Like I said, there's really nothing I disliked this week. I just had one that didn't perform as well. And we all have that happen. And so I guess I'm giving this my favorite because you guys, I cannot stop with this candle. Island Daydream has done something to me. The notes are juicy pineapple, tangy mango, sugar cane, and coconut water. Oh my gosh. It's the sweetness for me. It's the really juicy, authentic fruit notes for me. And then I like the coconut water. It kind of bounces all, all out and makes it like a drink. Like I feel like Island Daydream might be something you can order when you go on one of those cruise ships and... It doesn't have too, like the coconut in here isn't too strong. That makes me think of sunscreen or anything. I really just think of a drink and I really enjoy it. Um, or like expensive type of um, perfume. Like I really do think Island Daydream would make wonderful body care. It's probably been out before. I've never memorized. I've tried things that I'm like, oh, that would be cool if they made. And then come to find out I've tried it before in the past. Like I, that's my brain. So um, remembering too many kids names is what happens. You have to let stuff go. Let's let it go. Um, but yeah, so delicious, delicious, beautiful. I would drink this and I would also like it in body care or perfume. I wouldn't drink perfume. I'm saying separately, but I really, really enjoy this candle. And this was the best performer. This is a powerhouse. You smell this everywhere. I don't have to light anything else. I did pair this really nicely with Isla Margarita, but this one was, you know, kicking Isla Margarita's butt, if I'm being honest, because it's a strong, strong candle. And I really like the pineapple in here. I never really thought of myself as a pineapple person, but this one I bought over and over. You guys have seen it in so many videos. I'm retiring her until next summer, but as soon as the weather changes from spring to summer, you're going to see this post burn review picture if I'm still on the, the internet or whatever. But I love this candle so much. I'm glad I have one more, but honestly, if I saw this at a 75% off sale, I would pick up 10. I love it so much. So that is everything, you guys. It was a quick one. I need to give you guys some quick videos because I do the ramble thing. But out of these, I would repurchase all. I would recommend all. And I had a really great burn week. But as always, let me know down below what you've been burning and loving. And um, you know, like I said, are we transitioning to fall yet? I'm officially burning fall candles. I put everything summer is on the shelf waiting for next year. Of course, if I feel in the mood, I'm going to pull out one of those summer candles, but I'm kind of ready to try some of my fall stuff. Again, you, it's like a battle in my house. If I'm trying to review fall candles and burn my fruity candles, my house always smells good, but a lot of people ask questions like what's going on here. Um, it's Bath and Body Works review. This is what it's like. So Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in a video tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.